Hi everyone, it's Nat. Welcome back to my channel for your irregularly scheduled Saturday Happy Home Paradise speed build. And today we are doing a very special build for my girl, Miss Melba, okay? The, the legend, the icon, the cutie to end all cuties, Melba the koala. And you know what she said? She came to me and she said, Natalie, give me a fairy tale world okay so we're gonna give melba a fairy tale world we are out here in the forest with the merry-go-round and the fantasy clock and the fantasy archway that she did ask me for and at first i was like melba girl what do you want me to do with this but then i found this green colorway and i was like oh oh i see it i see the vision okay it's giving over the garden wall it's giving like you go into a forest and there's like an old fairground there and it's really sketchy but like you know maybe it's a little whimsical it's like it's giving it's giving spirited away which comes to our ghibli inspired build today the outside is cute the outside i am in i enjoy a lot but the inside the inside is giving howl's bedroom okay it's a little messy it's a little old it's like it's been there for a while but it is like lavish and it's full of plants and butterflies and there's all of this beautiful Moroccan furniture and there's like this big bathtub and it's just, it's just great, okay? You're gonna love it. But first we have to finish the outside. And the outside I actually started and then I went back and I was like, this should be a speed build because Melba, her concept is really giving. Okay, she wanted the, these fantasy items like the archway and she wanted these mushrooms. And that's, that's what caught me off guard was like, I saw, give me a fantasy world, a fairy tale world. And I was like, okay, Melba, I can do that. And then it sort of threw me off a little bit. I'm like, what do you want? You want, you want like a, like a, a theme park, but you also want mushrooms. But then I saw the vision. I saw what Miss Melba was going for. And then we had this connection on a deeper level. And then I unlocked what she is seeing in her mind. And all of a sudden I'm placing yellow mushrooms everywhere and it, everything is glowing and we have the glowy moss and it's it's everything it's 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 everything also did i use the same house exterior that i used for lobo's house yes do i want to use this house exterior on my own house a little bit but that's not my house's vibe my house is like a farmhouse so we can't be doing this this brick exterior but just like let me live my fantasy okay melba gets her fantasy and i get my fantasy and my other fantasy is posting videos on a regular schedule and you know what maybe that fantasy is going to come true today because guess what i just posted my video that i meant to post on wednesday and i was feeling a little down i was feeling a little low i was like okay this farm build is going up a little late it was i was struggling with it i really was link in the card watch the farm video but i'm gonna get this melba video out on time and then i went to go i hadn't checked my youtube in a week because i was i was telling myself you can't check your channel until you finish this farm as a you know you got to stay on task you gotta stay focused you can't be checking the analytics that's not that's not on task that's off task so we are on task it is midnight now and it, we are on task and i go to post the video i was talking to the video like oh maybe i'll hit 200 what am i gonna do when i have my 200 i have almost 350 subscribers and my and my starbucks video has six thousand views six thousand views my guy thank you from the bottom of my heart oh my god i never i when i tell you i never thought i was gonna get the okay we're about to go to the inside let me relax also flick wanted me to release this bug not flick no it was it was nat it was flick's dad the lore deepens anyways he wanted me to release that bug i did it was great we love it there's one butterfly <laughs> at Melba's house. Anyways, we're almost at 350. I'm like flabbergasted. Thank you so, so much. Welcome every every new person, everyone who watched the Starbucks video, everyone who watched Lobo's video, everyone who watched Savannah's video. All of those have over a thousand views now. Everyone who watched my stream VODs, who watched Pee Wee's and Al's stream VOD, and I and commented and subscribed. Thank you all so much. Oh my gosh, I hope you enjoy this video. And honestly, I'm glad that this video is going up as soon as I found out about this because like, I'm this is a build I'm extremely proud of. So I'm like, I feel like this is worthy of all of my new subscribers. Thank you all so much 
for coming to my channel. Really appreciate you. Here, as you can see, I'm building a window without using the 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 sticker thing, the sticker trick that people have been doing. I did not know about that at the time that I built this. But you know what? I don't mind because I like the idea of like it being a little open air. You know, it's it's she's she wants fantasy, and window panes isn't necessarily fantasy. You know, and neither is cars driving outside my house. Classic Natalie video content. Anyways, why not in introduce myself to all my new subscribers? My name is Nat, aka Natalie, uh, aka Kiki's Glasses. Welcome to my channel. Uh, with me is my computer fan. I want to introduce you to her as well because she's a regular here. I do Animal Crossing videos. I love Animal Crossing. I've been playing this game since the 2000s, since population growing, before I knew how to read. That game is really hard to play as a toddler. I do not recommend it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I do speed builds here and I do streams once a week as well. New videos up. Wednesdays, we do My Island. Saturdays, we do Happy Home Paradise. I try to stream once a week. Lately, I've been streaming on Sundays. In my last video, I promised I was going to stream this Sunday catching my last fish and I'm going to do it, okay? We're going to stream. We're going to catch that blowfish. He will not evade me any longer. I'm going to catch my fish and then... By the end of next year, I'm going to have my creatures done. Actually, probably by next summer, to be honest. I'm going to have my creatures done, and then I'm going to finish my art, and then my museum's going to be done. Look at that. We're getting things done. And I am absolutely riding off the high of finding out that I have, almost, that I have like 345 subscribers. Uh, I think my 345th subscriber was Storm. So shoutouts to you, Storm. I see you. Thank you for joining the little channel fam. I don't know if that's what I'm going to call you guys. I don't really know what to call my subscribers because like i i didn't think that i would have this many subscribers <laughs> so you know we're it's a work in progress everything about this is work in progress including this house let's talk about this bed okay this little blank this little blanket bed absolutely elite item i love how the blanket the quilt like goes over the side i'm gonna use that in my house okay she's coming to my house on my island i'm gonna start doing builds of my own house as well now that we have the new items, I'm very excited. I just want to collect all the things that I need to do or need to get before I do it. You know, does that make sense? This curtain is cute, but it wasn't, I didn't keep her. I think I used that curtain over the bathtub. And then I might have put a curtain over Melba's window, but I don't think I did. I think I left it a little open, you know? Because if you had a view like that, you wouldn't want a, a curtain over it, you know? But like I said, Melba, she's getting fantasy, okay? This is fantasy. This is Howl's bedroom. It's a little messy. It's a little old. The computer fan is here with us now. She's here. She's present um, with me and you and Melba. But this house is really giving. And so are these Moroccan-inspired couches. They're giving as well. We love to see it. But yeah, I was in the middle of introducing myself, wasn't I? I make Animal Crossing videos twice a week. Wednesdays, Saturdays. We also try to stream once a week. Get into it. Um, we. I'm also planning on making some Sims content. I heard there's a lot of Simmers in the audience, and I want to provide you with the Sims content. I love to build in the Sims. Once again, a game that I've been playing for most of my life. I've been playing the Sims since I was about six. Okay, I'm a serious. I'm a serious Simmer. It's a problem. I've spent a lot of money. On that game for what that game gives back to me i don't want to talk about it <laughs> god i'm in a i'm sorry if i seem in a weird mood but how would you feel if you just found out that you had completely surpassed your subscriber goal that you were talking about in the video that you were about to post you know thank you i'm in a weird mood but it's a good weird mood i hope that you're in a good weird mood too okay i hope that you had some tasty food i hope you have some leftovers some good leftovers I had some leftovers earlier and they were really hitting. They were hit. I had some stuffing, some turkey, some cranberry sauce. I'm going to make a sandwich tomorrow. There is this sandwich that I talked about in my Savannah video, my Q&A for 100 subs. Check it out. Card. Watch it. It's great. A, a sandwich that I mentioned in that video, the Thanksgiving day after. And I'm going to attempt to make that sandwich myself. I don't think it's going to be as good. I don't have the bread that they have. I don't have the access, I don't have the clearance for that bread, okay? But I'm gonna try. I might do a little pumpernickel moment. I might go to the grocery store and get some not, I might, some, I don't know, not normal bread. Um, but, you know, just like a, a, a wheat or a white bread. Uh, so we'll see. 
it, it'll be a little experiment. I'm not a very good cook, uh, but I do love a Thanksgiving day after sandwich. So we're going to try our best. Let me know if you had anything tasty for Thanksgiving. Let me know if you did any, watched any good movies. I know some people, their families watch movies on Thanksgiving. Like I said in my previous video, which I literally recorded the voiceover for like an hour ago. Um, <laughs> I watched Gossip Girl and then I watched Kiki's Delivery Service on a very big TV. And I was very pleased with that. That movie, oh, so good. I guess you could say this house is like a hybrid between the painter's house in Kiki's Delivery Service. I can never remember her name whenever I reference her house, but you guys know what I mean. And Howl's Bedroom, because it has sort of like the luxe feel of Howl's Bedroom, where there's like trinkets everywhere and it's very magical. And then it also has like the cabiny feel with like the wallpaper and the wood-burning stove and all of that stuff. So yeah, that's sort of the vibe we have going on. Also, I attempted to move my microphone further away from my computer to mitigate the noise from the fan, and then the fan got louder. So she's just really trying to be with us right now in this space. She wants to get to know all of you new subscribers. You know, like, be thankful for that. It's a rite of passage on my channel that you and my computer fan get acquainted. But yeah, okay, it's the one downside of me moving the microphone farther away is that I cannot totally see the build. Um, I think I'm working on the kitchen. I struggled with where to put this stove. And now that I think about it, I should have put the stove on the wall that was like the partition wall because you can't hang stuff off of that wall. But then I also do kind of like the spot that it's in. Like I'm I'm pretty pleased with this build. I think it came out really nice. I, I, I mean, I guess there are things that I would change maybe, but like not really, you know, like it's, it's a good build. I like this build a lot. I think it's really fun. Oh yeah, here I am putting up some curtains. I don't know, I don't think I keep those. I think I replace it with the um, the hanging vines. I feel like the hanging vines is a weird item because like, it gets so, it, it like gets very like, uh, apocalyptic very fast. That's not the right word, but you know, it looks like a, like nature has reclaimed a building if you put too many of them. In this build, it works perfectly because it's she wants a fairy tale world. Okay, she, we're giving her a fairy tale world. But in like my own house, I'd rather just have like a potted plant hanging from the ceiling and not just like random vines. Uh, but they also they also look good. So like, you know, it's 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 that's just the way Animal Crossing is. Sometimes you know you work with what you got. There's no CC in Animal Crossing. Nintendo gives you an item and you're like, thank you, Nintendo take here's my $25 and also my $20 every year not $50 you're funny Nintendo you really are I can play Majora's Mask on my Nintendo DS it's very funny that you think that I'm gonna pay $50 a year to emulate it when I can already just play it anyways back to the build uh I think I this is one of those builds where I sort of jumped around everywhere oh there goes the um the nature's bounty lamp uh, that's one of the items you get from the sky during fall, from the sky, from balloons. Uh, and I very great, gratefully was gifted of all of those recipes by someone on some Discord server. It could have been Diana's server, it could have been somebody's, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, it's a, an item that I hardly use on my own island, to be honest, even though I do really like it, but it was just perfect for this build. I'm like, wow. This seems like exactly the weird type, especially because that area is like full of plants. I really struggled with that area because unlike in The Sims where you can just use move objects to move all the plants really close together, they have to be some distance apart. So like the smaller plants look really out of place when you're trying to make them be part of this like group. Uh, so I did struggle with that a little bit, but I think it, in the end it turned out really nice. I also struggled with this where I could not decide what color I wanted the little blanket to be and I think I actually ended up getting rid of it but I might have just changed it to white I genuinely don't remember we'll see at the end though and also you can tour this build yourself using the code in the description and look at all of the builds that I've posted on my on my happy home paradise profile go do a little tour take a picture if you here's this thing too if you ever take a picture touring one of my builds on happy home paradise or if you ever build something inspired by one of my builds and you want to show it to me, post it on Instagram and tag me at Kiki's Glasses, my Instagram also down below in the description. I would love to see it. I 
the idea that people would like build something inspired by something that I built is so insane to me. And I just like, I want to see it. If you did it, like, like, that's amazing. Like, thank you. Also, like, I'm, I'm so glad that I was, <laughs> I was able to inspire you like that. Oh my gosh. But yes, I would love, love, love to see that. So feel free to tag me. I'm all about it. Love that for me. Love that for you. Love that for all of us. I was mess. Oh, I was messing around with the mom's cushion. Love the mom's cushion. I just used the mom cu the mom cushion in my last build in my farm build. For me, this is very strange because I recorded this like two weeks ago, or like a week and a half ago, and the 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 farm video I literally just finished like today. So time is an illusion, you know. <laughs> it really is. This game simultaneously has like so many plants and then also somehow like not enough plants, you know. Maybe, maybe that's how I feel about The Sims also. But I, I'm going to get that plant kit. A very nice commenter told me that the, the plant kit is very good. So I'm going to get it. Maybe I'll do, that'll be my first Sims video. I don't want to make any promises though. I have plans for my next couple of Animal Crossing videos. But be on the lookout for a Sims video. Also, I think that for celebrating 300 subscribers, I am in fact going to tour my New Leaf Town by the end of the year. I would say don't hold me to that, but you should hold me to that because it's a gift for all of you for subscribing. So please do hold me to it. I want to show you guys my new leaf town. Like I said, I can't screen record it, but I will try to find a way to get a camera setup going with a tripod so you guys can see it. Yeah, that, that'll be exciting. What am I up to now? This is such a... <laughs> you guys have no idea how far away I am from the screen. What a quality voiceover this is. I was messing around with the kitchen and this like this this clay pot... I also have an idea. I unlocked, I actually unlocked this a while ago, but I unlocked the ability to decorate my own villager houses and I want to make Coco's house into a pottery studio. I know that's very original, right? Um, <laughs> but I want to make her have like a little like studio where maybe she like paints gyroids or something. I just thought it would be cute. So look out for that in the future. That's coming, okay? Coco deserves, she deserves. Ma oh yeah, I put that like, this that like iron pot there instead. It's like a cauldron. That's giving Howl. That's giving Howl's Moving Castle. That's something that Sophie would have to clean. I recently found out... Oh, cow print rug. Gotta have the cow print rug. The cow print rug is like the the inverse of the chip bag, okay? Like, they're, they're both an item that I insist on using in every build, but they are almost complete opposites. But yes, Howl's Moving Castle. I recently found out people don't like Howl's Moving Castle, and that upsets me because I really enjoy it. It's one of my favorite Ghibli movies. I guess maybe... Maybe that it in a way, is a basic answer. I, I couldn't give you, like, top 10 Ghibli movies off the top of my head. I, I don't have the... That would take a lot of thought. But, uh, I mean, if you have HBO Max, you can watch them all. And I highly recommend that you do. You should all go watch My Neighbors, the Yamadas, because that movie is hilarious, and not enough people have seen it. Uh, it's an Isao Takahata film. It's just a bunch of vignettes of this adorable family. And the animation is so fun and colorful. It's like watercolor and like very like silly and 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 freeform. And it's just super cute. I love that movie. I love Nobuko. Pause. Uh, it's 1 a.m. And I just realized that I accidentally combined Nonoko and Noboru, which is her brother. I combined their names together to give you an idea of how tired I am. There you go. You're welcome. Oh, and then I found out that... Um, she was so beloved that she had her own manga after the movie came out, like, because it was based off of a manga. I think that's correct. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but yeah, it's what she deserves. She's adorable. Yes. Oh, I'm shining things. Oh, yes. I obviously got to get the steam, steam on all the hot things. And then I put butterflies on all of the plants and I absolutely love it. That is the fantasy element that is giving Hal's bedroom. Okay. That and like the Moroccan couches and the big quilt and all of the hanging vines and like the lamp above Melba's bed and the cauldron and everything in the kitchen and the bathtub. I just, I'm living for it. I love this for her. This is what she deserves, okay? I love Melba. We stand Melba. There I am changing the little blanket. Do I get rid of it? What did I do? I'm so curious about what me two weeks ago was up to. I guess I did get rid of it. Yes, I did. I did. Wow. Look at you. Look at me. Look at us. 
look at us. And here's the end of the video. Thank you all so, so much for watching and commenting and subscribing and liking my videos. It is insane to me the support that I've gotten over the past week. Like, oh my gosh. And I wasn't even, I was too busy in my creative cave working on a, <laughs> working on an incredibly difficult build. But if you'd like to see that incredibly difficult build, I'll have it linked up above. Like I said, I'll be streaming on Sunday, catching the last fish, the blowfish. Also new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Make sure to leave a like if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll catch you all again on Sunday for the stream. Come give the stream a try. It's fun. It's very chill. We have a really good time in there and I really enjoy getting to know all of you guys. But thank you all so much for watching and enjoy Melba playing in the leaves. Bye!